Can you feel it? It's getting colder across the country. Winter's coming, as it does every year, and if the record-setting winters of 13, 14 and 15 are any indication of how the polar vortex will impact us this year, it's going to be an extremely long and cold winter. And if there's one thing we can predict, it's that temperatures will begin to drop early and demand on the power grid will rise when it's under the most strain to perform. Let's watch how this plays out over time. Well, it looks like the blizzard of February 15, 2017 will be one for the record books, folks. With temperatures dropping to below zero for the next few days, everyone is being advised to stay indoors. Power outages have been reported throughout the day with more expected as this frigid weather pattern barrels down on us. Millions of customers are stuck indoors and they're using every energy hungry appliance they own. Heaters, ovens, hot water boilers, washer, dryers, electronics and now electric vehicles. A winter storm rolls in, the temperature drops and everyone raises the thermostat. Suddenly the power is out. The utility texts its customers to let them know there's an outage. They're sitting in the dark so they probably figured that out already. But what's happening on the industrial side of this outage? Hello? The plant's down. We're determining the time to return to service. Should have an estimate in about an hour. Hello? Well, the transformer blew, and we know we've got half of the west side in the dark. An outage can be caused by anything. Something small, unfixable, or something catastrophic. But without visibility into your assets, how do you know exactly where the problems lie? Or the steps you need to take to resolve them? Better yet, what could you have done to prevent the outage in the first place? Regardless of what part of the industry you're in, whether you're managing the plant, monitoring, or even trading energy behind a desk, this is impacting your business. A lot of industrial businesses have loads of data, but it's dark data that sits siloed and inaccessible. In the power plant's control room, it's crisis mode. The phones are ringing continuously. The boss is demanding answers and the operators are frantically searching through past emails to find anything similar. Searching gets a few random attachments with the plant's outdated outage reports. And of course, the one they're looking for isn't there. Or maybe it's documented in a spreadsheet or on paper under some of those work orders on the clipboard. The boss wants an ETA to get back online, but there still isn't a solution. Maybe the answer exists in a binder somewhere, one of those failure reports that Fred Whitby wrote just before he retired. What good is our data when it's completely disconnected from the people and systems who need it the most? We still don't know. Well, how close are you to finding the problem? Are you at the plant? Who's there working on this? The pressure is on to get the plant up and running as quickly as possible. Will the plant be able to deliver the energy the trading desk has already committed to? What are the penalties? How will this impact the bottom line? And the most important question, why did the plant go down in the first place? And how are we going to prevent it from happening again? Literally, everyone is in the dark. If you're an ISO in the eastern United States, you know what happens to the grid during extreme weather patterns. The demand for energy and power peaks and outages occur. It's time to look at the bigger picture. Is the system operating the way it was intended or the way it could? There are things you can be doing differently to significantly reduce unplanned outages and they are transforming our entire industry. What could have been done to prevent this outage? Let's go back three months. Imagine if all this information sitting in emails, spreadsheets and dusty binders was in one place, what if you could see all of it and all of the other dark data? What if you had advanced analytics working to see far into the future and reach deep into the past to help predict issues before they occur? Imagine being given instructions for how to resolve most problems on the fly and the ability to collaborate across the organization. This is Predix, GE's operating system for the industrial internet. Predix is designed to help you transform your energy business into an efficient, digitally managed environment. Designed for GE and non-GE assets alike, 
It connects all of your industrial equipment with the ability to analyze data and deliver real-time insights. From a single screen, you can monitor every asset in the portfolio, from the grid to renewables to a power plant. Predix gives us everything we need to identify and resolve problems before they even occur. We know which equipment needs maintenance or replacement, and we know when the best time will be to fix it. Asset performance management, known as APM, can differentiate between an anomaly that might affect operations and a false alarm. Anything that could possibly fail in the future is flagged well ahead of time. Predix ties the maintenance calendar to asset performance life, showing actual performance data and the life remaining on the asset. As a result, we can take advantage of peak demand times and schedule maintenance a few weeks from now when it makes the most sense to plan for an outage. The trading desk sees the newly scheduled maintenance and can lock in bids knowing how to capture the revenue that otherwise would have been lost. With Predix, the M&D center, the plant and the trading desk all work together to create new market opportunities for your business. Let's take a look at how we can catch a problem, starting a little more than a month before that impending blizzard. A few weeks ago, we pushed our maintenance window out, but eventually every piece of equipment is going to need maintenance. Knowing what actions to take to prevent an unplanned outage is invaluable to keeping your business up and running. Predix triggers an alert that predicts a failure 30 days out. This advanced warning tells us we're in trouble if we don't act now. APM's knowledge management software has identified several ways these issues have been dealt with in the past to recommend a course of action to correct them now. This is instantly sent to the maintenance manager, letting them know that the equipment is at risk of failing. The maintenance manager at the plant assigns the case within Predix, and one of the maintenance technicians at the plant investigates the equipment in question. Using the native iOS Predix app, the maintenance technician can snap a picture of the equipment with his phone and it automatically gets added to Predix knowledge management. The analyst at the M&D center automatically gets the photo, as does the plant manager and maintenance engineer. Because they're all connected in real time through Predix, they can validate the diagnosis or recommend a new course of action on the fly. The recommendation gets pushed to the computer maintenance monitoring system, which issues the work and purchase orders through Predix. Two weeks before the blizzard, they schedule the work for a time that fits the company's needs. And Predix coordinates the parts delivery and schedule. Predix can even flag any other maintenance that isn't scheduled yet, but would save time and money by being performed during this planned downtime. One week later, the parts and people needed for the maintenance have arrived. The maintenance gets finished by the end of the day and the plant is ready to operate through the rest of winter. Then, the day of reckoning hits, the big blizzard. It looks like the blizzard of February 15, 2017 will be one for the record books, folks. On the day of the big storm, we're ready. We don't have to guess what caused the outage because with Predix, we were able to stop it before it happened. So, there was no outage. Of course, we're not just limited to a scenario like this one. Across the entire asset portfolio, nuclear, wind, gas, steam, coal, hydro, solar, transmission and distribution, every aspect of our industry is being digitized across the entire electricity value network. GE is reducing unplanned downtime and the trading desk is fully integrated so they can trade with confidence knowing power will be available as promised. Which means that winter won't feel quite as cold this year. <laughs>